North Korea, on Sunday, January 14, tested a new solid fuel hypersonic missile with intermediate range, state news agency KNCA reported on Monday, adding it did not pose a security threat to neighboring countries. The launch was aimed at testing the reliability of new multi stage, high thrust solid fuel engines and an intermediate range hypersonic maneuverable control warhead, according to KCNA. The test occurred on the same day that a delegation led by Foreign Minister Cho San Hui heading to Russia left Pyongyang, KCNA reported. The missile launch and the visit to Russia come amid growing tensions between the two Koreas following Pyongyang's series of intercontinental ballistic missile launches and its first military spy satellite, as well as deepening ties between Pyongyang and Moscow that have worried Washington and its allies. In a separate KCNA commentary on Monday, North Korea accused Seoul of escalating tensions in the region with military drills and armament calls by South Korean officials. Even a little spark can be a catalyst for enormous physical conflicts between the two most hostile countries, the commentary said. North Korea has recently made changes to designate the South as a separate enemy state breaking with decades of policy, with leader Kim Jong-un saying peaceful reunification is no longer possible. Analysts have said the move could potentially help justify the use of nuclear weapons against Seoul in a future war. South Korea's military said Sunday's missile launched from the area of Pyongyang at about 2.55 p.m. local time flew about 1,000 kilometers off the country's east coast. Japan's defense ministry said the maximum altitude was at least 50 kilometers. Pyongyang had previously said it tested its new solid fuel engines for an intermediate ballistic missile on November 11 and November 14. Equals.